Get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, BC Chambly was represented by Beatrice Corrales. And on my left, Issy Le Moulino BC 92, represented by Kate Foucault. Ici les Moulineaux, BC to serve, love all, play. And welcome back, Mark Phelan here once again and uh, joining me as he's done for the last few matches. German stalwart, men's doubles, great Ingo. Service over, Ingo, thanks one for joining love. us again. And welcome back. My and pleasure. Uh, we have women's singles, we are finally balanced in the, in the tie, one, one all. A thoroughly professional performance, you have to say, by Luca Corvey to really grab over. that one on. singles by the, by the neck and uh, bring it home. Uh, but now we really have a hot favourite for Sean Lee. We have to say that, I think, in Beatrice Corrales uh, against Kate Fukuna, the Mauritian, playing for Issy Le Molyneux. Uh, second choice, really, for Issy. We had Sabrina Jacquet here earlier in the week, and Sabrina now going to uh, play in the USA Open to the Olympic preparation. Yeah, Beatrix uh, left a quite strong impression yesterday. Mm. Um, I think that's why we also have to see her as the uh, favorite in this one. Um, <coughs> I hadn't seen Kate Fukuda playing too much before this tournament, to be honest. And, uh, over. She also showed Two some really good performances here, but uh, yeah, I still think that Beatrice Kulanis has to be seen as a favorite in this one. Uh, Kate is a gutsy performer, and she has really improved in her technique over the last four years. I remember Karen, her older sister, would represented, uh, went to the Olympics in London, I think. If she qualified, I think she did, but... Uh, Kate has really stepped up a little bit this last two years. And really huge technical over. in her game. Three, two. Physically also, uh, you know, very physically sharp and, and fit. Um, yeah, um, actually on, I think it was on Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, when she didn't get picked for the team uh, for their match, uh, I saw her doing some uh, core training next to the courts. And, uh, Four, two. Also seen her. And, uh, China at the uh, Thomas Newber Cup finals. I've seen her at the gym, and uh, yeah, she looks like a player that is very uh, keen on training and improving. And um, yeah, I take your word that she's improved uh, a lot over the last two years. As I said, I, Five I two. Uh, didn't get the chance to see her play that much um, at that time, but uh, I would I wouldn't be surprised if she had improved quite a lot seeing uh, seeing her training with that spirit. 
Beatrice, of course. Savi Sova, she's three, five. Her teammates and people who know her. Now living in Milan, uh, left the Spanish National Center, living permanently in Milan, training there in Milan. Of course, they have two Spanish coaches there anyway, in the center. A very good center in Milan. And got Savi Sova, six, three. And of course, we saw BC Milano here this week, and I have a feeling that that might be her team next year. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, it wouldn't be surprising then, would it? But a revigorated uh, Beatrice Corrales this uh, last month. Two Seven, months. three. She had to make those, uh, first of all, consciously make the decision to, to make the move and then go and do it. And she seems to have done it and it seems to have settled in quite well in Italy. Yeah, it's a big step. You know, she was as high as number 18 in the world at one point. Uh, of course, that might have been out of Olympic qualification here, and, uh, but still, to get there <laughs> is no mean feat. Eight three. At the moment, she's 42, and uh, it's interviewing her yesterday, the day before yesterday. The focus is now to re-establish herself with a decent world ranking and uh, get to those main draws at the bigger events. And let's see, let's see what she's over for eight. That's the right time to uh, start a campaign like that. Uh, you can probably expect a few tournaments now after the Olympics to be a bit weaker mm -hmm. uh, when you look at the draws and yeah, with her ranking right now she's surely going to make it over. into these tournaments Nine, I four. suppose uh, yeah. Yeah. even when uh, you look at the graph on uh, of both these girls and, and their uh, ranking progression Ten, you can see the dip from Corrales over the year but there's that slight improvement which is a tough thing to do in an in a Olympic qualification year. Yeah, true. Eleven four interval. Twenty second, twenty second. Eleven four play. Beatrice is off to the better start here. Um, she's, she's clearly dominating the match, and uh, uh, we we see if uh, Kate can find a way to put more pressure on her. Hurting for of course, grabbing that final qualification spot at the end of the qualification period in May for the Olympics. 22 tournaments she played Savvy during Sova. the Olympic qualification period. Uh, big, big, Five big 30. year for Kate. But certainly, from my opinion, two years ago, I would have never put her as, as a an Olympic player. Just, uh, just from a technical aspect. Sova. And again, as I said, I'll say over again, her dedication, her commitment to it, and the changes and the, the development she's made has been phenomenal. But a different level here. We're at a different level. 15 We're five. Corrales 15 5 ahead. But I think. 
six in you five. Would have expected this anyway, you know, when they look at the team sheet. I assume that when you know, and you would have been a part of teams like this. When you look at things, you, you know, you're you're realistic about things. You go, well, you know. Yeah, everybody, that everybody does that counting yeah. before the match. Yeah. <laughs> that's more than like. Savvy Sova. More than likely going to lose that one. More than likely going to win that 16. one. Sixteen. I think everybody does that, but um, quite often it uh, it doesn't. Um, it, uh, the outcome is not the same as mm. your calculation. <laughs> and that's the beauty of sport. Yeah. Beautiful action on the cross net. Savvy Sova, 17 6. Action. Just, just wondering, is Kate just a little bit overawed by the occasion? Yeah, maybe. Um, it's also. Uh, like she probably stepped on court um, expecting to to be the underdog in this mm -hmm. one and um, seeing it as a big challenge to uh, play for 18 the six and, um, but you always you always go on court with a lot of spirit when you when you're up in, in, in these spots uh, but it definitely gets more difficult when the uh, match develops like it does right now where you uh, where you pray early on then very very similar to the men's singles you know what Kate needs to do now is find a few points the, the, the game is gone yeah the first yeah. game is gone but she needs to find a few points and find a little bit of a rhythm yeah. Savi Sova 7 9 game yeah rhythm and uh, I think for her it's also coming down to confidence needs to play some rallies where she gets the feeling out that she can actually uh, take their trees on. Oh, right in the corner. Savvy Sova, 20, game point seven. Sorry, uh, uh, Kate for me just seems to lack that little bit of edge on the on the attack. Uh, you know that. Savvy Sova. Yeah, she gave, uh, she uh, gave quite th some points away in this uh, set already uh, because she she probably had the same feeling like you just uh, said, and uh, she tried to take more risk. Mm -hmm. So yeah. like she tried to play it even a bit tighter at the net or even a bit closer to the to the line, um, which. Usually it doesn't work in your favor too often. And, uh, yeah. it, it, it certainly didn't work in her favor in this set. And then, um, First game yeah, won why, by BC Chambriouas, 21-8. Uh, you can see the, you see the coach is just trying to make her smile. Okay. Yeah, come on, enjoy it. You can still do this. Of course, we're in a room here full of French, and I'm an Irishman, and I hear that Ireland are taking the lead in the soccer. Uh, fingers crossed that we can keep that lead. Certainly, with the quality of that French soccer team, you would expect them to really come uh, from charging back at the Irish. But sport, sport loves an underdog, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. I think uh, the whole of Europe is in love with the Irish fans at the moment. Uh, yeah, you're probably one of the very few Irish in France at the moment that uh, are not here for football. Exactly, yeah. When I was leaving, when I was coming over, I was saying, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to France for the Euros. Everyone goes, yeah, you're going to France for the Euros? And I went, yeah. For the European Badminton Club Championship. Second game. And that's some of the conversation stuff. Love all. <laughs> play. But uh, I'd, m I'd much prefer to be here than in Lyon. This is my thing. Savi Sova, one love. So the first point and the first time Kate has been in the lead in this match. Let's see what she can do. Too loose. Savi Sova, one all. Yeah, these 
first few points are going to be very um, going to be very important to Kate. Like if she can stay in the game um, for a bit in the beginning of this set, and that's probably one of the things that she can get uh, some confidence out, which would help her a lot. Yeah, it's a patient game from Corral, as you can see, she's on. working her opponent around the court. Yeah, she's playing it very disciplined so far. She's not the one who's taking too much risk in her shots, but um, Three, she's one. just outplaying her opponent uh, with, uh, without making uh, mistakes herself. Service over to Frey. Service over for two. Five two. Of course, uh, Corrales number Six, two. two really in the pecking order in women's singles in Sean Blake, Kirsty Gilmore, also a member of the club and would have played all ma the major, you know, the, the, the big, the big uh, league matches for them. So they actually have a Luxury problem in uh, seven two. I think that's that's a thing that not many clubs in uh, Europe have. And then they also have uh, Soraya Devish Iberg in the Netherlands okay. as another one. Okay. And Soraya got injured. Oh, did she? Uh, a couple of months ago, which uh, ended her Olympic dream. Yeah. But Savi Sova. Gilmore Corrales, uh, Devish Iberg, Three, and seven. three singles players in one club. Yeah. It's a quite a situation when you have Kirsty Gilmore and Soraya and the fish um, not being able to make it to this tournament and you still have Beatrice. Savi Sova, 8-3. That's quite nice. And all three very much at home playing doubles, you know, and mixing it up, which you need in the club, yeah? Yeah. 9-3. Service over for nine. Yes. Five nine. Savi Sova, 10 six. The racket so short and on the overhead uh, the shots. I'm, I'm trying to figure out why is she one game behind and 10 six behind. And, uh, to me, it's the quality on the overhead seems to be lacking. She's getting into it a bit now. Yeah, she's still a little bit behind in every shot. Like 11 six interval. at a higher speed. She's she's moving. On over the court a little bit better and um, yeah so far Kate is struggling to uh, yeah, it's a find it's a, a way thing is it it seems to be she seems to be slower around the court yeah 
Uh, she's struggling to find a way to take the speed out of uh, Beatrice's game. And um, yeah, I think she's like she's trying quite a few things, but so far she hasn't found something that she can really believe in. Um, see if if, if there's uh, something left for. Twenty second, twenty second. Eleven six is Corrales with the advantage, already winning the first game, twenty one eight. The tie itself finally balanced at one all in this the final of the two thousand and sixteen European Club Championships. Eleven six. First Play. match of a schedule five. Service over, 7 11. This time, Corral is finding the line. Service over, 12 7. Yes. Time is over. To reach that. And 12. Kate, yeah. it, it, the movement is just a little bit lethargic. Time is over. When you're playing the better Martin players, eight. you feel psychologically that you have to go for the lines, and that just uh, the margins are just too too tight. Fourteen eight. Service over, 9.40. Service over, 59. seem to have grown in confidence this week. I'm not sure. Even if Sabrina Jacquet was there, that th she would even beat uh, Beatrice in this kind of form. Out. Yeah, she, she looked very strong all over the week. Service over. Uh, 10 50. Yeah, we'll see, uh, yesterday in the semi final, she was uh, completely outplaying Thelma Santos uh, to, like, quite far into the second game. And it still got close in the end because yeah. she was losing her focus a little bit. And that's the one, uh, one hope that Kate has left. 11 50. Looks a bit like she adapted to Beatrice's speed a bit better now. Twelve fifty. Service over, 16-12. Yeah, the final around the head shot here in her backhand side was just way too loose. Loads of time for Beatrice to play the winner. 17-12. Service over, 13, 17. She, do, she 
she's a bubbly character. She's always on her toes. She's always bouncing. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe sometimes she just needs to take a step back and uh, take another Sarisova. breath or, serve or something like that, just to you know to, to, to eighteen thirty. Trying to uh, push us up into the game mentally also. Service over, uh, 14 80. As I said, in the, especially in the second half of the first uh, game, she was lacking self belief, mm. I think. Uh, and she's like, she's, she's definitely trying uh, to push her into a better 15 state 80. with her body language also. And I think it's, uh, it's working in her favor at the moment. Yeah, for me, you know, she certainly Service has over to get that over 1950. But she just is, is lacking that real top level cutting edge in the attack. Yeah. Yeah, she's playing with more confidence, but uh, even now Beatrice seems to also have an answer on that game. Well, at that time, Kate. Service over. 1619 Service over 20 match point 16 it's match point for Corrales. And really thoroughly comfortable th throughout this women's singles. Corrales also one of this new breed of Europeans women's singles who predominantly play Game. the backhand short serve. But yeah. that's it, 21-16. Good fight, you have to say it, from Kate Fulkunen. She's had a good week this week in tours and... Uh, Really, really done her team proud and herself proud. She's had some good wins this Match week. won by BC uh, Chambliwas, 21-8, uh, 21-16. Uh, um, she made Beatrice work for this win uh, in the end. But yeah, Beatrice was capable of doing so and um, she definitely de uh, deserved to win this one. So uh, Chambly take a 2-1 lead in the overall tie. And we move on. And the next one will be the men's doubles. And Luca Corve will be back alongside Gaten Mittelheiser, who will be back for Isile Molyneux. And they will be up against Bastian Kersodi, his first appearance in this final. And now with Robert Matusiak, the vastly experienced pole, back after winning the earlier mixed doubles. And myself and Ingo will also be back. So join us for the men's doubles in just a sh few short moments. Champion, 